Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the big heat wave rolls on. You can see it. There's the big upper ridge in the center part of the U.S. And the clusters of storms rotating clockwise around it. Now, uh, what's interesting is that we're going to cut the edge off the heat just a hair tomorrow. There's a very weak cold front that's kind of slid through, turned the wind to the northeast and the north, and that will push the core of the heat wave just a hair west. So tomorrow will be a hot day, but it won't be as bad as it was today. So after 67 and some areas of fog tomorrow morning, we'll have some low clouds around, and those will kind of burn off. We'll burn the fog off, and other than a few little fair weather cumulus clouds, it'll be a mostly sunny afternoon with a high of 91 degrees. We'll be back down to 74 by 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So after the areas of fog tonight, we'll have areas of fog tomorrow night too. Some of it will be dense in places, and then we look forward to the end of the heat wave. But before that happens, we've got a few storms. The keyword is a few. They'll be isolated to very widely scattered Saturday, Sunday, and then there may be one or two on Tuesday, and then the 70s come in here. We've got 70s and some pretty cool nights in the forecast. But tonight, those 67 Rochester, 66 at Winnemac to 68 down towards Attica and about 67 up towards Monticello and Brookston. Tomorrow, upper 80s to low 90s. Not as bad as it was today. 91 at Lafayette, 89 Rochester down to Peru and Bunker Hill and still 92 at Pine Village. The peak heat index pretty close to 95. Tomorrow, winds will be out of the east and the winds start to turn back to the south Friday. And it heats up as high as mid 90s Fowler, Morocco, over towards Wheatfield to 93 Lafayette, 91 uh, Peru, and a lot of places the heat index upper 90s to right around 100. Futurecast is indicating this white shading that's low level moisture, that's areas of fog. You can see it's pretty much painting them across the viewing area uh, early tomorrow morning, so be aware of that as you're headed out and about to work early and to school. That burns off, any low clouds burn off, and then we're left with a mostly sunny, hazy afternoon. Winds out of the east with those highs, upper 80s to low 90s. That's 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And then we have the fog that kind of redevelops tomorrow night. That's about 4 o'clock in the morning, Friday, and there'll be at least some areas of fog around at the bus stop on Friday around 6 a.m. Then that all burns off, and then once we get towards Saturday, there will be a few scattered storms that begin to pop. Widely scattered at that coverage only about 20 to perhaps 25 percent for the weekend mid 90s and then after 80s Monday there may be an isolated shower Tuesday and then it cools off it cools off into the 70s with overnight lows in the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees so big changes on the way after the heat index peaking you know as high as 100 degrees a high of 76 on Tuesday. That will feel really good, but it's still really hot right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's getting old. The heat was getting old for a lot of people now, but.